Going into part three, Scorpio and Cross Watchers, how will Mars hit up the karmic girlfriend? So it could be that Archangel Michael's also too trying to get your divine counterpart's attention because of judgment. Somebody here is going to be walking away with this Eight of Cups and this karmic girlfriend has been holding back secrets. They want to pretend like they're all sweet and kind and innocent, but showing it through temperance. Well, we got the devil activity here. Blind leading the blind with the eight of swords. Archangel Michael, how will this judgment call come in? Towards the karmic girlfriend with Mars being in retrograde or if this is the divine counterpart that needs to wake up because you know a lot of times I say and a lot of my subscribers have heard me say this statement is <clears throat> if a tower moment shows up either a judgment a judgment call is made and then a tower moment happens or judgment comes in first and then a tower moment because judgment if judgment were to come in first, somebody didn't heed the warning. Now a tower moment. Once all of these secrets get revealed, this karmic girlfriend is going to be a laughing stock. Nobody is going to want to have anything to do with her or associate with her. Not even her own family members. And the divine counterpart is going to be feeling some embarrassment. And in fact, some of these divine counterparts that are dealing with the karmic girlfriend, they already feel embarrassment. A lot of them are trying to avoid the karmic girlfriend. They try to overindulge like in work and try to avoid as much as possible. And I'm hearing too with this devil card that this karmic girlfriend is very persuasive in the sexual department. Keeping the divine counterpart chained and bound on a sexual level too. But yet there's other people. How is judgment coming in, Archangel Michael? Ah, huh. Looking on the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Pentacles. Like I said, some of these divine counterparts are trying to avoid the karmic girlfriend by working a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. How is judgment kicking in? Mm -hmm. it's about a spiritual awakening here and realizing here that somebody the divine counterpart or the karmic girlfriend they need to walk away from this commitment and like I said too this karmic girlfriend could be secretively married Some of these karmic girlfriends could be a Taurus. Or your divine counterpart is a Taurus. Message from the Herio font. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Somebody needs to get the hell out of Dodge. The Six of Swords. Get out of this murky energy. In order to see the land ahead. How is that going to happen, Archangel Michael? One, two, three, four, five, six. The Emperor. 
Somebody's got to take back. I say it's the divine counterpart that needs to take back personal power and control. But there could also be this manipulating energy because we do have the devil card here and the emperor. All the cards are going to be connected, energetically speaking. So there could be control and manipulation Nothing is ever good enough for this karmic girlfriend. Mm -mm. No. But somebody needs to get back into their solar plexus energy to have the strength and the courage to get away from this, this karmic relationship. This is from the emperor. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Somebody better not back down. Or the karmic is not backing down. This karmic plays off as if they're like the wounded warrior. When in truth, it's really the divine counterpart. Bottom of the deck, dirty bird activity. Five of swords. Conflict, deception, deceit. This is from the Eight of Swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> yeah, the moon. Secrets. More secrets. Confusion, delusional energy. The things that are hidden by the moon will always get eliminated. And it will always get illuminated. And maybe eliminated too. However, it could happen by the next full moon that this karmic girlfriend <clears throat> gets exposed message from the moon <clears throat> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen yeah there's a sense of impatience awaiting could be that the divine counterpart is also, too, trying to figure out when is the best time to leave this karmic girlfriend behind. Well, I'm going to say this right now. There is no perfect timing. You just get up and leave. That's it. I mean, how much toxicity can one take? Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles, Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> yeah. See, somebody here is all up in their freaking head. This karmic girlfriend could have serious, I mean, I'm talking real serious mental health issues. It's like there's guilt on the karmic girlfriend's end and then there's not guilt. That's why I'm like, there, the, the, there's an imbalance with this karmic girlfriend. And this could also be too, the divine counterpart coming in through the nine of swords thinking, what was I thinking? So again, the divine counterpart, once everything gets revealed and the karmic shows... Karma girlfriend shows her two colors. I've got sirens going off in the background. And that's crazy because I had sirens going off when uh, I did the reading for how is Mars retrograde going to hit up your person. So there is a major change on its way, you guys. Your person could be like all up in their freaking head. Like, what did I get myself involved with? How could I have been so blind? Why did I waste my time? Because there, th this was a lustful connection. Lustful, very lustful. And a lot of money. There were, you know, there was some money in and around this too. 
Some of your divine counterparts may work very hard. They may have good, solid jobs, or maybe they are self-employed. What's going on, Archangel Michael, between the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune? Let's see, 10 and 2 is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Queen of Cups. This karmic girlfriend could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But there's intuition. And as I've said before, the Queen of Cups is like the cousin to the High Priestess. And I was picking up that this karmic girlfriend could be sleeping around with cousins. Or sleeping around with the father figure. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Mm. <clears throat> the Four of Cups. It may feel like your divine counterpart might have missed out on an opportunity with you, Scorpio, or Cross Watcher under Scorpio. They didn't want to pay attention to the red flags about this karmic girlfriend. And it could be, too, that the karmic girlfriend, again, it's like I was picking up on the word persuasion. They may try to, the, once the divine counterpart gets this aha moment, which is going to be hitting up soon. Again, persuasion. Something here is unsatisfactory. So it could be that the karmic girlfriend's going to try to come in again and say, oh, no, we can work on this. But all the while, she's got, she's got other people. Nasty mess. That's what I was picking up. Nasty mess. A hot mess. This karmic girlfriend is. What's the energy, Archangel Michael, between the tower and the moon, please, in regards to this karmic girlfriend, please? 16, let's see here, 16 and 18 is 34. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34. <clears throat> What's going on between the tower and the moon in regards to this karmic girlfriend getting hit up with Mars retrograde energy? What is this all about? Okay. The eight of pentacles could be something about money or Again, persuasion. This karmic girlfriend may try to work a little harder to try to keep your divine counterpart. But on the bottom of the deck, the queen of wands. Mm -mm. Third party situations. Meddling energy. It's not real. There's a lie. Lots of lies, you guys. This karmic girlfriend is a habitual liar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> yeah. See, somebody here wants to be in the free and the clear. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody wants to have their cake and eat it too. That, that that's huh, that's what I'm also picking up. But justice on the bottom of the deck. The truth is gonna come out. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Tell me more about the tower moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, some of this energy could be hitting up big time in throughout the month of September. We have the sign of Virgo, hermit energy. We're like almost on that cusp line of Virgo into Libra season right now. Message from the hermit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it could also happen too once the tower moment kicks in or if the tower moment's going on now. And if your person, the divine counterpart, is all up in their head about this karmic girlfriend, this could send them into hermit mode for a little while. So don't be surprised. Message from the hermit. Yeah, see, they're going to take a leap of faith. They're going to get out of this. Somebody's going to be walking away, marching to the beat of their own drum. And bottom of the deck, the sign of Scorpio, there will be an ending there will be an ending to this karmic girlfriend situation. It's because of the lies. It's because of the cheating. It's because of the sleeping around. The false facades. I mean, the, like the fake ass facades that this karmic girlfriend has exuded. This karmic girlfriend has no self value, no self worth. How does anybody expect to have really any respect when you're sleeping around? Archangel Michael, why would the divine counterpart be afraid to leave this karmic girlfriend? I have the number three, the number two, so 32. 32 and 3 is 35. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. Why would the divine counterpart, Archangel Michael, be afraid to leave this karmic girlfriend? Why? Mm. Heartbreak. I've got sirens going off in the background again. It could be because of the divine counterpart not wanting to have their heart broken. But we have the Wheel of Fortune. So what goes around comes around. Some of your divine counterparts, when they find out all this bullcrap energy about their karmic girlfriend, they may go into hermit mode for a little bit, or they may not, or they're going to turn right back around and come rushing and charging ahead towards you. Message from the Three of Swords. One, two, three. Because they're also afraid to... That the karmic girlfriend is cuckoo. Crazy. That's why. Crazy. Message from the Seven of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Some of them, you know what? Some of them may fear for their life a bit. This Princess of Wands, which is like the Knight of Wands, 
This is like in and out activity. So why would the divine counterpart be afraid? It's because the divine counterpart doesn't know how the karmic girlfriend is going to react. They don't know if she's basically going to pull out all the stops. You know what I'm saying? It's a sad state of affairs, you guys. This is, this is, ugh. They just don't know. They don't know what she's going to do. Some of them may feel like th that the karmic girlfriend could get physically abusive or try to harm them or take a sharp object. I'm telling you guys, this is the, this is the T. And another thing too that they're afraid of, they're afraid of breaking the karmic's heart too. And the reason for that is because of all of the time, energy, and effort of, go, of what is going on between them and their relationship and everything that they built up together. I've got sirens going off in the background again. Mm-hmm. It's coming. They're just afraid that this, this karmic is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And they and, and it's like they're, they're almost picking up that they know this. Know this very strongly. Some of them are not going to care what other people say or think. If the divine counterpart walks away. Some of their uh, friends want the divine counterpart to walk away from this karmic girlfriend. Give me one more message from the Seven of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Justice. I mean, th there could be, okay, so I, I heard the word altercation. They could be afraid of any kind of altercation. This karmic has, this karmic girlfriend has a rage. And I'm picking up that they may try to, if the divine counterpart starts to walk away or says, I don't want to be with you anymore, whatever. I mean, not only did I hear the word altercation, but I, 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 smearing, smearing and um, blasting out fake storylines about the about the uh, divine counterpart that's what I'm picking up but th see this this karmic girlfriend doesn't have a freaking leg to stand on because she's sleeping around she is sleeping around and especially with some of these cousins or family members or whatever this Divine counterpart is going to end up feeling so backstabbed and betrayed. Not only by the karmic girlfriend, but karmic girlfriend sleeping around, giving time and energy to numerous different people, places, things, or situations, or, you know, if it's other family members. This divine counterpart is going to feel like they don't have anybody. That they can trust. Especially. Any family members that might have been actively involved with the karmic. Message from the fool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> Yeah, see, 
Once the divine counterpart leaves this karmic, they're going to try to come and reach out to you. Get ready. They're, they're going to do it anyway, you guys. They're, they're going to try to come back to you. They're, they're going to do whatever it takes. They're going to give you a text message, say, hey, guess what? I am not with that person anymore. But the, it, it almost feels to some degree that they may... The divine counterpart, when they reach back out to you and tell you and tell you that they're not involved with this karmic girlfriend anymore, I think they're going to kind of like flumble over their words a bit or fumble, fumble over their words. Message from justice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Yeah. I said the word altercation. The divine counterpart is afraid of altercation, aggressiveness, <clears throat> uh, laying hands or punching or taking sharp objects. Or I'm telling you, this, this divine counterpart is afraid. They're afraid to leave this karmic, but a lot of them will. They will leave the karmic. And some of these divine counterparts, they're just, they're done. They're just over the stupid ass energy of what the karmic girlfriend is exuding. They're just over it. So basically, how is Mars hitting up the karmic girlfriend? There's going to be exposure. Pretty, a good part of this has to do with the karmic girlfriend sleeping around. Mm-hmm. And any kind of, you know, if there's drug dealing going on, whatever the case may be, mostly I pick up sleeping around. So, that's what I have for you guys in regards to this energy. I'll be tapping back into it down the road, but there's other, there's other people how is Mars retrograde going to hit up the sisters, the brothers, the toxic mother figures, the fathers, the aunts, the cousins, mm -hmm. co-workers, mm -hmm. some of you that have job situations, can't stand your co-workers. How is Mars retrograde going to hit that up, right? So, if you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. And, of course, I'll be back for more Scorpio bonus readings, take care and have a blessed Saturday.